Uh, this course is suitable for students who have finished a degree in aeronautical engineering or engineering um, similar to aeronautical engineering like mechanical engineering, um, civil engineering, construction engineering, engineering subjects with a, a, a degree of control engineering uh, and structural engineering and also sort of computational engineering like finite elements analysis and computational fluid dynamics. To enter the course a student would need a 2-2 uh, degree in primarily aeronautical engineering or a closely related discipline. Uh, however, students coming from abroad can apply and if they have um, a degree in aeronautical engineering or again a closely related discipline can also apply and we consider uh, students on a case-by-case -case basis. Well, the course is designed to operate over three semesters. Uh, the first semester is a mix of taught modules and project work. The second semester is also a mix of taught modules and project work. And the third semester, which operates over the summer, is complete project work. So the students work over the whole summer on, uh, solely on their project. Um, the subjects covered during semester one uh, consist of core modules and elective modules. The core modules are advanced stability and control of aircraft. And we also cover a subject called technical writing for engineers. The elective modules then during semester one include fundamentals of continuum mechanics, aerospace metallic materials, computational fluid dynamics, advanced CAD or three-dimensional CAD, and also nonlinear finite element analysis. Uh, the subjects covered in the second semester consist again of core modules and elective modules. The core modules include advanced aircraft structures, um, and for example, in that module, students would carry out experiments typical of testing this, and this is basically a tapered uh, wing spar of an aircraft with a, a crack in the in the center here and the students apply forces to this and try and determine how the crack affects the stiffness of the beam and these are typical type of experiments that will be carried out um, during most of the modules uh, in, in the course. Also in the second semester the core modules consist of boundary layer theory, a module called operations analysis, advanced computational fluid dynamics, uh, fraction mechanics and engineering mechanics of plastics and composite materials. So in each semester the project has a certain outcome. Uh, for example, in the first semester the project the students have to write a literature review. During the second semester then the students have to actually carry out a, extensive work on the project. The third stage of the project is carried out over the summer months. During this period the students finish the work on the project and then write up the project report. However, in this program the project report is not a typical uh, thesis. It, it's, it's actually written in the style of a journal or conference style paper. And this is very useful for students who want to uh, further their education to PhD level or also if they want to work in industry writing reports for the managers or also writing uh, say conference style papers. So the program is designed to allow students to become chartered engineers. Um, from 2013 onwards students are going to require a level 9 master's degree in order to become chartered engineers. This, the programme is also designed to allow students, well, A, to work in industry, and B, then, is to further their education by carrying out PhDs in research in the aeronautics field.